Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Hi everyone. This is me Shafika. Okay, since we cannot meet uh, in a Google, we cannot have a Google Meet session today. We are going to do some exercise in your exercise book. Okay, so you are just going to watch the video and I will tell you what you have to do. Awak tengok video dan later Miss akan bagi tahu apa yang awak kena buat dalam buku. Okay, so we are still in our same topic which is food and health. Kita masih dalam topik 5 iaitu topik yang baru tentang food and health. Makanan dan kesihatan. Okay, so we have three exercise that we are going to do, uh, to do today which is exercise number 1, exercise number 2 and exercise number 3. Okay, and uh, it looks like a lot, nampak macam banyak, tapi awak hanya perlu tulis jawapan sahaja untuk exercise nombor 1 dan nombor 2. Exercise nombor 3, baru kita akan salin ayat dan jawapan. Okay, now without further ado, let's look at uh, exercise number 1. Nombor 1 ini adalah latihan nombor 1. So, terus boleh sediakan buku tulis dan tulis hari, eh, tari dan hari. Okay, and then go ahead and write the instruction. Okay, yang Miss Garis ni adalah arahan dia. Okay, okay ar arahan dia. So, salin arahan the instruction. And then after that, below that, uh, terus je tulis nombor 1 sampai nombor 8. Okay, kita akan terus tulis jawapan yang betul. You do not have to draw, tak perlu lukis. Kecuali kalau rajin. Kalau tak rajin, tak perlu lukis. Dan tak perlu tulis uh, perkataan yang dia dah bagi. Okay, no need to write the given word. You just have to write your correct answer. Hanya tulis jawapan yang betul. Okay, arahan dia, look at the pictures and correct the words. Okay, kita akan kena tengok gambar dan betulkan uh, betulkan perkataan tu. Okay, so the given word is not is not correct. Perkataan yang dibagi tu dah salah. So, dia suruh kita betulkan. Okay, let's look at number one. For example, uh, uh, kita tengok contoh. Okay, contoh dia gambar ni bukan uh, X. Okay, dia tulis X. Tapi bukan X. So, dia pangkar, dijadikan vegetables. Okay, vegetables is the correct answer. So, kita akan sama juga. Contohnya, nombor satu kita akan buat. Let's look at picture number one. Okay, the given word is fish. Okay, is this a fish? Okay, no. This is not a fish. This is a chicken. Okay, bukan fish tapi chicken. So, nombor satu awak terus dia tulis macam nombor satu. Eh, eh. Terus dia tulis nombor one, chicken. Okay, tak perlu tulis fish tu. Number two, this is, this looks like uh, a round things that we put in a box. Okay, dia macam bulat-bulat-bulat tu. Apa yang makanan yang bulat-bulat tu? Telur. Yes, eggs. Okay, eggs. Okay, right. Number three. Okay, number three looks like uh, some drinks. Nampak macam air, liquid. Okay, tapi kita tak minum, dia bagi juice. Kita tak minum juice in a bowl. We do not drink juice in a bowl. But we do drink soup. In from a bowl. Okay, number four is not a burger, bukan burger. This is called crepes. Okay, yang ni nama dia crepes. Uh, looks like keropok, macam keropok. Number five, uh, the given word is soup. Is this soup? No, it's not. This is a fish. Okay, dia dah potong dua, sedia untuk dimakan fish dia. Number six, this is not cheese. These are not cheese. Okay, dia ada dua, jadi dia mesti banyak. Kalau banyak, mesti ada S. Okay, so burgers. And number seven. Okay, ni, na, ni barulah jus buah-buahan. Bukan chicken. Okay, so jus in English. Eh, jus in English. Ah, jus dalam bahasa Melayu, jus dalam bahasa Inggeris pun kita panggil jus. Tapi, eja dia lain. Okay, jus. And lastly, akhir sekali number eight. These are not vegetables but they are called cheese. Okay, good. Now, uh, hanya salin jawapan yang betul saja. Okay, now let's look at exercise number 2. Uh, sama juga uh, salin instruction, the underline sentence that I uh, that is the instruction. Okay, uh, dia ada perenggan ni tentang makanan by Tyler. But you don't have to copy the whole passage. Okay, tak perlu salin semua. Tapi salin jawapan yang betul saja. Okay, lepas dah ada jawapan betul nanti. Kita akan, uh, Miss akan bagitahu lah Jawapan 1, 2 sampai nombor 9 Okay, so the title, oh sorry Before that, these are the given answers Ini jawapan yang dia bagi Okay, kita kena pilih lah Apple, crepes, eh, crepes dia dah guna Fizzy drinks, fizzy drinks If you remember from our last lesson Fizzy drink means I guess Atau I bicarbonate Okay, then we have juice We have meat Nuts Okay, nuts is kekacang, meat is daging, macam-macam jenis daging lah. Daging ayam, daging ikan, nah, tu semua nama di daging. 
okay pasta salad sandwiches and water Okay, salad ni boleh jadi salad dan kita letak banyak-banyak sayur dalam pinggir Kita campur macam-macam sayur pun nama dia salad Ataupun kalau kita letak sayur, sekeping sayur dalam sandwich pun nama dia salad Okay Now, let's read the passage Okay, the passage title is My Lunchbox by Tyler Edwards Okay, cerita ni tentang Tyler Edwards This boy named Tyler Edwards Tentang lunchbox dia Lunchbox tu bekal makanan dia Okay, dia pergi sekolah, dia bawa bekal makanan. So, we will read what Tyler brings to school. I don't usually have school dinners. So, I take a lunchbox to school every day. Okay, dia bawa bekal. In my lunchbox, I often have a bag of crisps. Okay, dia selalu ada satu packet atau satu bag keropok. Or maybe a small bag of apa? Okay, blank. So, selain daripada berdasarkan jawapan based on the uh, given answers, biasanya kita letak dalam bentuk keropok ni. Ha, macam yang ni keropok kan? Okay, a small bag. Ha, ini a smaller one. Nampak tak gambar dia macam apa? Okay, gambar dia bulat macam tu macam kacang. A smaller bag of nuts. Right, so the answer for number one is nuts. Okay, again, I will. I need to remind you, do not have to copy the whole passage. Tak perlu salin semua perenggan ni. Cuma salin nombor jawapan jawapan yang betul saja. So, terus tulis nombor satu, nuts. Nombor dua, apa? Okay, but you have to listen to the explanation and the clues given in the passage. I think these are better for you. Uh, dia, dia kata nuts ni lagi bagus daripada crepes ni. Lebih bagus untuk kesihatan kita. So, that is basically true. Number Two, there is always some fruit too. Okay, dia kata fruit. Ha, yang ni kita, dia dah bagi clue dah. Dalam jawapan dia ada satu je buah. Maybe a nice red apple. Okay, apple. So, jawapan dia bagi uh, ada satu saja jenis buah iaitu apple. And then dia kata buah tu warna merah. Ha, biasanya buah merah ni apple lah. Selain so, daripada tu watermelon. Tapi watermelon is not included in the list. Okay, number three. I always have... Two big apa? Okay, ada dua eh. Dia, um, my mom makes them. Ah, ini kita nak cari clue dia dulu. My mom makes them with white or brown bread. Okay, bread. If you don't remember what bread is, uh, it's a roti in Bahasa Melayu. Okay, so kalau roti, apa yang kita buat dengan roti? We make sandwiches. Okay, so the clue dia bagi satu pertama dia kata two. Ada dua. Jadi kita cari perkataan yang ada banyak. Yang ada S Okay, sandwiches Kedua clue dia, dia cakap pasal roti So, apa lagi pasal roti kan? Sandwich um, And then And she usually puts some Okay, dalam sandwich Dia selalunya letak Apa? In them like chicken ha, Contohnya macam ayam So, daging Daging ayam Here Okay, daging Kita cakap number four Kita cakap tentang daging So, meat in them like chicken Or perhaps some nice cheese Ataupun cheese Or some healthy green. Okay, dalam salad kita letak. Uh, eh, that's dalam salad. Dalam sandwiches, we put meat. We put uh, meat like chicken or and cheese. And also healthy green. Apa yang green kat sini? A salad. Uh, okay, so in we also put macam like a sekeping salad in sandwiches. At our school, we cannot have number six like cola. Uh, Coca-Cola ni nama apa? Nama... I guess kan. Okay, so I guess in English is fizzy drinks. Okay, based on uh, based on the given answer. Miss nak padam sikit yang ni. Okay, sebab tak, tak boleh nak tulis. Okay, so number six is fizzy drinks. Tak muat sangat. My uh, handwriting is very big. Tulisan besar. Miss nak bagi awak nampak. Jadi dia tak nampak. Okay, tapi make sure awak salin jawapan yang betul lah. Tengok dalam fizzy drinks. Macam how to spell fizzy drinks. Okay, number seven. I always take some apple. Apple apa? Uh, dia kata tak boleh mak tak boleh bawa uh, I guess. Jadi dia selalu bawa apple juice. Air apple. Okay, Air apple juice. So, number... This is number 7. Okay, number 7. Jawapan awak juice. Itu dia jawapan saja. We can drink blank too. Okay, kita boleh minum. Siapa so, lagi minuman dalam jawapan? It's water. Okay, in the given... In the answers, answers list are the fizzy drinks, juice and water. When I get home every day, I wash my lunchbox. Then it's time for dinner. We always have a hot meal. Perhaps some Italian 
apa Okay so dia kata untuk makan malam pula Dia biasanya akan makan some Italian Apa lagi jawapan kita belum guna Italian pasta Okay so tinggal satu je lah So pasta ni memang makanan orang Italian Okay so Italian pasta with vegetables or a big pizza Okay now good So we have satu uh, We are done with exercise number two Exercise number two ada number one until number nine So I need you to copy down the answers Number two until number nine. Okay, now we move on to exercise number three. Okay, uh, we uh, you have to copy down the instruction first. Salin arahan dia macam biasa. Okay, yang yang atas dia ada yang ni lah arahan dia. Right, so copy the whole sentence. Okay, we have number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven and number eight. Okay, sebenarnya number exercise number 3 ni awak kena tulis jawapan dalam crossword puzzle ni. Okay, for example jawapan nombor sat, nombor 2 ni katalah apple. Ah kena tulis macam tu. Okay, since you do not have the format, awak tak ada bentuknya, awak tak ada kertas dia. Kalau tak miss bagi worksheet kan. Tapi awak tak ada, tak boleh nak buat bentuk tu. So it's okay, we have just to write, we can just write the answer uh, next to the sentence, next to the clue. Okay, so awak kena untuk nombor satu kena salin semua ni. Salin semua ni, nombor satu sampai nombor lapan. So, copy number one, the whole sentence. This famous food from Italy is very popular. Okay, dia kata makanan Italy yang very popular. Dia dah bagi dah number one, which is pasta. Okay, so lepas salin the whole sentence, you can uh, boleh, uh, apa tu, buat jawapan dia dekat bahagian bawah sama dengan pasta. Okay, macam tu. So, kita tulis jawapan macam tu saja. Tulis salin ayat, the whole sentence uh, ayat nombor satu ni dan jawapan dia. Jawapan tu boleh buat kat sebelah ataupun bawah ayat. Okay, number two. This is the famous, eh, sorry, this is the most common drink in the world. People also wash their face in it. Okay, ni mak ayat dia kata most common drink. Meaning, it's minuman yang paling biasa seluruh dunia. Ada orang basuh muka, wash face. Dengan air ni Kita guna apa untuk basuh muka? Air ah, Okay So it's water It's just plain water Okay number 3 These are vegetables They are sometimes long and green Ah, I remember that we have I have asked this question in our previous lesson Hari tu Miss dah tanya Okay ada satu vegetable tu Long and green Panjang dan hijau Which is kacang panjang Kacang panjang in English is long bean. Okay, long bean. Alright, number four. People make sandwiches with this. Ha, kita buat sandwich dengan sayur ni. Betul ke sayur? Kejap. B -R -E. Okay, it can be bread. Uh, I think it's bread or salad. Okay, tak apa. Kita pilih uh, bread. Okay, people make sandwiches. Kita buat sandwich dengan roti lah. So, bread. Number five. Children like this. But they are bad for your teeth. Okay, ha, children children ni kanak-kanak suka makan tapi bad. Buruk untuk gigi. Tak baik untuk gigi. Apa yang tak baik untuk gigi? Manis uh, gula yang... Gula-gula yang manis. Okay, gula-gula in English is sweets. Ah, gula gula. Kalau gula saja lain. Kalau gula that we use in cooking, kita gula yang kita guna dalam masakan tu nama dia sugar. Okay, kalau gula gula sweets. In the UK, okay sekarang dekat nombor 6 In the UK, people eat this with fish. They are not very healthy. They are made from potatoes. Okay, makan dengan um. Apa tu? Ah, uh, uh, Okay, faham. Yang ni biasanya yang kita makan bila kita beli McDonald ke, uh, kita dapat sekali kentang. Ah, uh, Okay, so french fries lah. Basically, dia kata made from potatoes. Kentang lah. Okay, kalau kentang yang kita goreng tu ataupun kentang yang kita beli yang dah siap tu, uh, dah frozen tu, we can just fry it. Okay, so jawapan dia, fries. Alright, number seven. This is white. Makanan ni warna putih. It is very popular in countries like rice, uh, like China and Japan. Okay. So, this food is also very popular in Malaysia. Makanan kita makan hari-hari. Iaitu rice. Ha, macam mana Miss tahu jawapan dia rice? Sebab nombor tujuh ni dia dah bagi kotak. Ada empat kotak. 
R I C E. Okay. Tapi awak tak perlu buat kotak tu eh. Alright, number 8. This is yellow. Kenapa ada conteng kat sini? This is yellow or white. Okay, makanan ni yellow atau white. It is on top of a pizza. Okay, apa makanan kita letak atas pizza? Warna yellow and white. Cheese, right. Okay, cheese. So, number 8 is cheese. Full stop. Okay, so we have got our uh, answers here. Very good. Uh, that is all. Uh, all of the three exercises that we are going to do today. This one tak perlu lagi number uh, exercise number four. Ini adalah macam uh, we have to write a short paragraph. Okay, kita kena tulis perenggan pendek macam macam yang exercise two ni panjang macam ni. So we will do that uh, together. Okay, ha, kita akan buat sama sama lah sebab dia akan guna idea. Dia, it needs your idea. Okay, awak kena bagi idea dan ayat sendiri untuk buat passage ni. Alright, so we have three exercise. Make sure that you copy all three exercise, the correct answers in your exercise book. Okay, until then, thank you very much. Goodbye.